What's up guys, it's Kelly and quick disclaimer, before we even start this video, I just wanna let you guys know, I have a second camera here. It is causing interference with my microphone, so I am not using a microphone for today's video. Therefore, the audio quality will probably not be amazing. However, I think the content is going to be good enough to keep you guys entertained, so let's just start with it. Today, I am doing a highly requested video, which is a wear test on the Hollow Taco Peely base coat. I recently did a review of the Hollow Taco Hollow Days collection. If you guys haven't heard of Hollow Taco. It is a brand made by YouTuber Simply Nail Logical. She came out with a peel off base coat that is meant to be used specifically for well changing your manicures but also more specifically for when you have a glitter nail polish because glitter nail polish is kind of a nightmare to remove. So I thought it would be really cool to kind of see how long it lasts. So I don't know about you guys but I do not have a good time with peel off base coat in general. I feel like for me anytime I do a manicure and I have a peel off base coat that manicure is not gonna last me more than a couple of hours. I feel like as soon as it dries, as soon as it hardens, then it just pops off. Like I could just be, I, I don't even have to be washing my hands. I could just be existing and then the nails will just pop right off. So I am not going into this video with very high hopes. I do think that peel off base coat does have its uses. I think that if you were, you know, wanting to wear something super sparkly and really difficult to remove, you could always use peel off base coat, but I wouldn't count on it giving you more than a few hours of wear. But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna try to make this base coat last for as long as possible. So we're going to see how many days this base coat lasts. So I'm actually going to do a comparison between the UNT peel off base coat and the Hollow Taco peely base coat. So these are two very popular ones. Obviously the UNT one has been around for a while and personally I am not a huge fan of it. I find that it doesn't last me more than a couple of hours. So I really don't use this one. So just a little bit of information about the two brands that I'm going to be comparing. This is the UNT peel off base coat. It is listed as being 10 free and it is water based. You can get 15 milliliters of this for $9.99 USD on their website. So the Hollow Taco Peely base is not very different. This one is listed as being five free and you can get 12 milliliters for $11.99 USD on their website. In terms of looks, I don't know if this is just over time, but the UNT one that I have is a little bit cloudy and the Hollow Taco one that I have is super clear. Smells, should I be smelling these? Wow, this one actually smells really good. Don't smell your nail polish ever, guys. I mean, don't like sniff it if you happen to smell it when you're... They both actually kind of smell very similar. They don't really have an exciting scent, but they both smell kind of nice, actually. <laughs> I'm probably just saying that because I really like the nail polish smell. But um, yeah, I think these are both fairly similar products. So let's see how it goes. So the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm going to apply every other nail with Peely base coat and then every other other nail with the UNT base coat. And the way that I'm gonna be able to differentiate which is which is I'm gonna use two different Holo Taco glitter polishes and I'm going to use the Midnight Spark polish as my Holo Taco color and I'm going to use Frost Light as my UNT color. So this will make it really easy to differentiate what's going on with what colors. If one of them pops off and it's this color, I'll know it's the UNT. If it pops off and it's this color, I'll know that it is the Holo Taco one. So that's how we're gonna do it. It is five o'clock on Friday and we're gonna see how long this lasts. So just a couple of quick precautions that I've taken, things that I find help your peel off nail polish peel off even faster that I'm going to avoid during this period is one, I am not going to be washing my hair for the duration of this wear test. Other things, I am not going to be doing any sort of heavy duty underwater stuff because that's gonna make my peel off base peel off even quicker. I do wear kitchen gloves when I am doing the dishes, but I'm probably not gonna be doing any crazy amounts of dishes anyway. So let's just get started. Like I said, I have another camera over here. That is why my audio is bad because I have some interference coming from this camera. So I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to show you guys. Here's my clean natural nails. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do every other nail. I'll show you guys. So this is the Hollow Taco peel off base right here. It does recommend doing a thin layer. I'm just going to start on my index finger. I am painting a thin layer. I'm also going to be doing my ring finger again with the Hollow Taco Peely base. 
These two nails currently have the Hollow Taco peel off base on them. And then I'm going to do my other three nails. Well, you're only gonna see two on camera, but I'm going to do my other nails with the UNT peel off base coat. So again, I am gonna do a thin layer. It feels pretty much the same on application. It is also clear. The only difference that I am noting in the UNT over the Hollow Taco is that the UNT has a wide flat brush, which is my personal preference. I know that some people definitely prefer the skinnier brush. And I know that Christine specifically wanted to have that because that is her preference. So that's really just up to preference, but I, I think with base coat, it doesn't really matter too much. So I'm gonna let that dry for a decent period of time just to make sure that I am getting the good stuff. So while that's drying, I'll tell you guys, one thing to keep in mind about using peel off base coat, for me, doing cleanup is a huge part of my process of doing my manicure. And I have a whole video on that too, if you guys are interested in what exactly I'm talking about. But basically I use acetone and a little brush around my nail to kind of clean up those edges. You can't really do that with a peel off base. As far as I'm aware, peel off base doesn't really play too nicely with acetone. I'm going to not do that. I'm going to just try my best to be as neat as possible for today's video. <laughs> so in terms of dry time, they seem to be pretty much identical. Both of them are drying at the same rate. I'm not noticing that one is drying faster than the other. If you guys watched my original review video, it was recommended that this lighter shade be done in three coats and this darker shade is a two coater. I'm going to do both of them in two coats just because I find that when you have a really thick glitter manicure I do feel like it doesn't last as long with peel off base coat because if it's thicker it's like more likely to catch on something and pop off so I'm just gonna do two coats of both I haven't actually worn either of these yet so I'm pretty excited to see what they look like I wonder how long they're gonna last I'm anticipating that I'll, I'll probably do a follow-up I'm gonna show you guys throughout the however many days this takes I'm gonna show you on my phone just what we're looking at on my nails I'm anticipating that I'm probably gonna wrap this video up by Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So I'm anticipating maybe five days of wear in total. I am going to be going to work and stuff. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Just painting on two nice coats of Midnight Spark onto the two nails that have the peely base coat on them. I am in indirect lighting right now, but I will show you guys some cell phone flashlight shots so you can see some of that awesome color. I'm also trying to be like a little bit careful in terms of application because I don't want to have to clean up. So I'm, I'm being a little delicate around the edges. Now that I have one coat on of this, I'm gonna do one coat of the others on my nail just to kind of speed the process up and then we'll do a second coat of both. So this is frost light that I'm using now on my UNT nails. And again, I am gonna do two coats here instead of the recommended three, just because I don't want this manicure to be too thick. I would rather this go for longevity rather than wear it for just a few coats and not get the longevity that I would like to see. So just to quite literally speed things up, I am just fast forwarding through me painting on the second coat here, just so you guys can see it, but it's not necessary for you to see it in real time. Just know that I am thrown on that second coat. Looking at this now, I just remembered that Christine did say she recommends doing two coats of top coat for these polishes because they are glitter heavy. So I am gonna do that. I actually kind of love this manicure. I feel like they look so cute together. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm just going to use the super glossy taco. I am also planning on doing a video comparing the super glossy taco to the regular glossy taco and I'm going to wrap my tips here as well so that's coat one gonna let that dry and then we'll go in with coat two I am looking forward to doing a comparison of the glossy taco and the super glossy taco so we'll see how that goes but for now I am just using the super glossy taco because I heard this is a quick dry taco and that's what I'm after today <laughs> wow that did actually dry super quick <laughs> so once again, just speeding things up by speeding through that second coat of top coat, you can see I am wrapping the tips. I did that with the top coat, but not with the peely base coat. Cool, so now I have the full manicure on this hand. I'm gonna do this hand and then I'll show you guys both of them. Okay, so I just painted my dominant hand off camera. As you can see, I did alternating products on this hand. So because I have the hollow taco on these two fingers on this hand, I have them on these three fingers on this hand, just to kind of give it a fair chance. So we're gonna 
see what happens. I'm gonna show you guys again on, on this little camera so you can see. Yeah, we've got the darker color is the hollow taco and the lighter color is the UNT peel off base coat. Like I said, it is now Friday. It's 5.30 on a Friday and um, we're gonna see how long this lasts. So I'll be keeping up with you guys in I guess like a vlog style on my phone's camera. I'm not going to get my hands wet for a little bit. I want to give this a decent amount of time to totally set and harden and then we'll see how long it lasts. So that's it. <laughs> so uh, see you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, this is Cell Phone Kelly checking in. It's been literally five seconds since I updated you, but I just wanted to show you guys that hollow sparkle that I know you are waiting for. So here is with my cell phone light, so you can see how sparkly these are. So once again, the dark blue is the hollow taco peely base, and the light blue is the UNT peel off base. So my skin is super dry right now because I don't want to moisturize just yet. I'm gonna give it some time to totally set and then we will do that. All right, we've had our first casualty. It is now 7-11 on Friday still, so it's been two hours. I'm seeing already some tipware, even though I did wrap the tips, but that's on all of them. This finger had the hollow taco on it. It was the dark blue. I actually have no idea where or when I lost it. I just looked down and noticed it was gone. <laughs> I haven't done anything except for, I mean, I went to the bathroom and I washed my hands, but I, I didn't notice it falling at that time. So this other hand, dominant hand, is still going strong, looking great. So Oh, yeah. Alrighty, casualty report. In all of 20 minutes since I have last talked to you guys, it is now 7.35, also on Friday night, I have already lost this thumb finger, which was the UNT. I actually just showered, but this, funny enough, did not come off in the shower. It came off when I was taking my shirt off to get into the shower, so that happened. And then while I was in the shower, I did lose the index finger on my dominant hand. That is another UNT one. So, so far we've got two strikes for UNT, and one stray for hollow taco. I knew that these were not going to last very long. I already knew that going into it. I told you guys it usually only lasts a couple of hours. I am being a little bit more delicate than I normally would be, but not like anything crazy. I'm still trying to like live my life like a normal person, but I am low key a little bit annoyed because I have work tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go in like this and I feel like people are gonna be like, what happened to your nails? So I showered tonight because I don't wanna have to shower tomorrow at like 5 a.m. because I have to go into work early. So that's the situation. I will update you guys if anything else happens. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Guys, I think this, the shower really ruined me because it has been another minute. I just walked into the kitchen and looked down and realized that I already lost all of the hollow taco on this hand as well as the thumb, of course. I've never seen this before, but I lost the two UNTs. I, so I lost my ring finger on both hands. Just almost instantly. I found them on the floor, but I'm not gonna show them to you guys. But it literally just walked into the kitchen. So I'm guessing the shower really ruined me. But thing is, I need to shower every day, so I, I don't see how this is gonna work for me very well. Interestingly enough, both brands are performing almost exactly equally. So the Hollow Taco is performing basically exactly the same as the UNT. So we have lost so far three Hollow Tacos, and three UNT peel off. So, so far we are completely even. These peel off bases are performing exactly the same. So now I'm going to cook. I, again, don't have high hopes. I anticipate that the rest of the night will also include updates, but there's no way I'm going to work tomorrow with nail polish on only one finger. So we'll see what happens. Currently 8 p.m. still on Friday, just trying to enjoy my vegan mac and cheese and the other one of these UNT peel off base coat nails fell off. So now on this hand, I have only one nail left and then I have the two hollow tacos left on my dominant hand. So genuinely have no idea how this one happened. I was literally just sitting here eating and reading and I looked down and I realized that this nail was now gone. So I have no idea, I have no idea where that was, where that fell off or how. I, I didn't even do anything crazy. I literally just made mac and cheese. This is not a reflection on hollow taco or peely base specifically. This is just how peel off base works on me. So I'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts at the end of the video, but just wanted to give you guys another update. So we'll see if I can survive the rest of the night. 
So hopefully this is my final update of the night, but I was just doing the dishes with gloves on and when I pulled off the gloves, I saw that my pinky was now gone. So we are even right now. We are four to four on whose nails have peeled off between the Peely base from Hollow Taco and the UNT peel off base coat. So I currently have one nail left on each hand. So there it is. But look at that nice hollow sparkle. I will say though, once it comes off, like my nails look so clean underneath. It really peels off very cleanly, but so does the UNT peel off base. Hi guys, one final update for the night. It's 10.08 p.m. I just went into my closet to get my pajamas on and to go to sleep and I looked down and I saw that this pinky nail was gone. So this non-dominant hand, surprisingly, this is the one that went first. This hand is completely free of polish now. I'm actually a little impressed because I feel like there's no trace of polish left. Looks pretty good, but did not last too long. I still have one nail going strong on my dominant hand just on the middle finger there and that is the one that has the hollow taco peely base on it so that is the winner of our battle but not by too much <laughs> i am going to go to work super early tomorrow you know what i i was thinking i did not want to go to work with one nail painted but i kind of want to see just how long this is going to last i don't anticipate it lasting till morning i have a feeling i'm going to wake up and it's going to be gone but i am going to see how long I can make it last for. But anyway, I'm gonna just put my pajamas on and go to sleep and then I will catch up with you guys tomorrow and I will finish up the video and tell you my more detailed thoughts. Good morning guys. It is Saturday morning, 6.45 a.m. and this one hollow taco peely base nail is still going strong. Just wanted to update you. I'm getting it ready for work and then we'll see if it lasts the work day. Hi guys. Currently 6.46 a.m. This guy unfortunately did not survive me putting my work pants on. So that is the end of that manicure. Hello guys, it is Saturday. I am now bare nailed. <laughs> so it is Saturday. Saturday night? Oh man. So the peel off base coats did not last as long as I had maybe hoped. I can't say I'm surprised because I find that this is very true for all peel off base coats, but I just wanted to leave you guys with some thoughts here and just kind of finish up the video, give you like my review of what I thought was going on with these polishes. So I'm not sure if I really related enough in the intro to this video, but in my experience, peel off base coat, no matter what the brand, does not last very long. In my experience, it only lasts a few hours. That is the case with the UNT peel off. That is the case with other peel off base coats I've tried. So it just does not last very long in general. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with the Hollow Taco Peely base. It works and performs exactly like any other peel off base coat that I have used. As you can see, it performed pretty much exactly the same as the UNT peel off base. Here's my thought on that. There are people who it actually works really well on. If you are a person who has used UNT peel off base and you have found success with it, you're absolutely gonna love this product. If you are a person who's like, oh, this is gonna be the product that's different. This is gonna be different from all the other peel off bases that I've used that don't work. You're gonna be disappointed because this one is not any different. It did perform well for what it did. One thing that I was really impressed by was, and the same with the UNT, was that it peeled off very cleanly in just one sheet. You know, it makes clean up a breeze. I just personally don't love using peel off base coats because it takes so much time to apply your your nail polish, especially if you're doing nail art. Just in general, I mean, if I'm taking 20 to 30 minutes to do a manicure, I want it to last several days. And I'm a person who paints my nails like multiple times a week. I probably do my nails twice a week, but this and any peel off base coat just does not last long enough for me because I need it to last more than a few hours. That being said, I do think there are some useful applications for peel off base coat. I think if you are wearing a glitter that is super heavy that you only plan on wearing for an event or a special occasion, then I do think peel off base is good for you. If you're a person who likes to just paint your nails for the fun of it and then be able to peel it off without causing any damage to your nails. I think peel off face is great for that too. So yeah, there are a few applications for it. I do think it becomes useful in some situations. And of course, if you want to support Christine, if you want to support Simply Nail Logical, this is an awesome way to do it. She's created this fun product and I do think it is fun. I think it's fun to play with peel off faces. If you're doing some stuff and you just want to do it for the art of it and then peel it off when you're done, this is the product for you. If you really like the UNT peel off face and it lasts days for you, then this product is going to be really good for you too. I think it's 
really just up to what you want to use it for. If like me, you're a person who kind of wants your nails to last a longer amount of time, then I would stick with just using regular base coat. There are other ways to remove glitter nails. There are other ways to remove stubborn nail polishes. And oh, one other thing that I thought was very impressive about it, it did not cause any staining on my nails at all, which I thought was really good. Sometimes peel off base coats do not really protect your nail. This one did, the UNT peel off base also did as well. But yeah, so if I were to say, you know, between the two of these, which I would recommend, I think they're both similar. I think it's just based on your price point, your budget, and just the kind of experience you want. I mean, the UNT base coat is a solid option. And like I said, it does have that wide flat brush. So if you prefer that, this is a good option. But with the Holo Taco, I mean, this is an independent brand. So you are getting a more of a luxury experience as you tend to do with independent brands. You know, you're getting a really nice bottle. You're getting that soft touch cap that feels really nice. It has the little logo on it. Even the Holo Taco is actual holographic font. So it looks really pretty. It's a nice square bottle, which I totally prefer because I think it just makes storage a little bit easier. But yeah, so that is it for this review. Hopefully I've given you guys a little bit of insight into peel off base coat and how it performs and how this one performs against other base coats. If you guys have had any experience with it, I would love to hear. Leave me a comment down below. If your experience totally differs from mine, let me know. I would love to hear because you know, we all have different skin. We all have different nails. Our chemistry with different products is different. You know, stuff that I love, other people hate, stuff that I hate other people love. It really depends on how products work with your skin. So if you haven't had a great experience, I would also love to hear that too. I always answer all of my comments. So, you know, I just like talking to you guys. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing. I do a ton of nail polish related videos. Don't really do wear tests very often, but I know you guys have been asking me to do a wear test slash comparison of the Glossy Taco versus the Super Glossy Taco. So I am planning on doing that. I also have a ton of other exciting stuff planned for you guys. So definitely subscribe if you want to. And uh, yeah, and oh, oh, give this video a thumbs up if you like my videos. <laughs> and that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay, fun fact. This is actually related because you guys ask me all the time if I use peel off base coat or why I don't use peel off base coat when I'm doing my swatch videos. And the answer is I feel like it takes a little bit long for nail polish to set. When I'm doing my videos, I do wait for the nail polish to dry, but I don't wait for it to fully set and harden. If I wanted to use a peel off base coat and peel it off after each swatch, I would have to wait a little bit longer and I do these videos at night after work and I don't like taking that much time to do it. I like to kind of speed up the process even though I do wait as long as I can to kind of show you guys the true finish. I just don't think it would be worth it to wait. So that's why I use regular base coat in my videos. I also just like showing you guys Usually the base coats that I'll use will be products that I think work well with the polishes that I'm using. So I think that's also really important to share with you guys. But yeah, so that's why I don't really use peel off base coat. I do use it for my gel swatching reviews. And lately I've been showing you guys at the end, like just me peeling it off because I know you guys like that. Um, but yeah, that's it for my fun fact today. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. I'm off to go paint my nails again.